it's feeding time for this baby blue tit. But it's not just his body that needs nourishing. He also needs a few singing lessons. Well, it's basically this. It's a CD player with a CD of the Don Chorus, which we play to the birds between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock in the morning and again in the evening. And that contains all the song of all the species you can see in this room. Remarkably, they can filter out the song of their own species. Learn, uh, learning song in birds is partly uh, innate, it's partly inherited and partly learned. So they've got a 14-day opportunity at this age um, just to learn that part of the song and absorb it and, and be able to use it in the future. The RSPCA has found bird song is a learned behaviour. So if you're an orphaned fledgling with no mum or dad to twitter to you, you need a little help, some more than others. This is a blackbird that's about four weeks old and we don't know yet whether this is a boy or a girl. But uh, for blackbirds they've got a very complex song so it's very important that they learn, learn it very well. And why is it so important that they do learn to sing? Well females choose the males based on the quality of their song which reflects the quality of their territory. So a male who can sing very well is likely to get a good territory, he's able to defend that against other males and, and, he's, like, and he's likely to attract the, the, the top quality females. In the next few weeks, the birds will be transferred to these outside aviaries and then released back into the wild. The idea is that by then they'll be able to fend and sing for themselves. Abby Jones, Northwest Tonight, Stately.